He's blowing kisses to the dogs. And we are going fall decor shopping. This is gonna be Kylo's first year trick or treating. A vocal pumpkin. update on my weight loss journey. That doesn't mean that I've gained three pounds. I actually wanted to give you guys an update because I had an appointment with my naturopath doctor. Kisses to the dogs. What's up guys, it is Monday and we are going fall decor shopping. I'm actually in the parking lot of Walmart right now and I figured I would take you guys along with me. Also, I'm like obsessed with my makeup today. I don't know why I'm really loving, I actually mentioned this on Instagram, I'm really loving like showing my natural skin. Like in the past I used to be really, it's just crazy how makeup trends change because I used to be really insecure about like showing my rosy cheeks and showing my freckles. So I used to want like super full coverage foundation to make sure I had like a really blank slate is kind of how I used to put it. But now I kind of like to let my skin show through. I like to let my freckles and my rosy cheeks peek through and I just like a little bit of concealer, a little bit of mascara, a little bit of brows, some lip oil. I did put a tiny bit of liner and then I did throw on some bronzer and that's it. Just like a really nice no makeup look. I don't know, I love it so much. I actually feel really confident today um, with this look. Anyways, I'm probably gonna do like my quick five minute no makeup makeup look on Instagram or something, on Instagram Reel. But yeah, so let's go fall decor shopping. I wanted to mention to you guys, I really don't wanna spend a lot of money today because I'm the type that doesn't like to spend a lot of money on seasonal home decor. The season is only like a month and a half and then you wanna switch it up, so I really don't think you need to spend a lot of money. So I am here at Walmart and I'm also gonna go to the dollar store and just see what they have, you know? Also in the past, like I used to let like, oh, I don't wanna spend too much money stop me from completely going out to look at things. Like I'll just be like, oh, I'll just stay home then. And then I thought to myself, no, like you don't always have to spend a lot of money. So I wanted to encourage you 
you guys like if you are on a tight budget and you don't really want to spend money on like fall decor or even like Christmas decor so my camera cut off but I was basically telling you guys don't let that stop you I know it can be so much pressure when you go on Instagram and you go on TikTok and you see all these influencers spending so much money on home decor for fall and for the holidays so let's normalize window shopping you can still get out of the house just to look around these are only two dollars and keep in mind this is obviously Canadian pricing but look at how cute these are like I cannot and obviously if you like a little bit of color like putting this inside of a vase oh my god this is so cute we all know this is me I feel like I need this I'm definitely getting this 1000% I love this as well because it's very like earthy tones still kind of neutral but I don't think I'm gonna get this one but this is still super cute love these like y'all need to not sleep on Walmart because they're the plug oh my god a vocal pumpkin I cannot five dollars I'm getting this so pretty and this is why I say do not sleep on Walmart like look at this cream ish colored pumpkin this one is five dollars but so nice it looks like everything on this side is four dollars oh my gosh i cannot like please this is adorable what else do they have back here oh they have like these little mini let me see if i can pull these out that's really pretty you can put that in like a bowl Tell me how my button was undone. Like, how long was that undone? Oh my god. This is a nice, like, little pack. $4 for this entire thing. Oh my god, I did not even see these. Okay, I love these. So pretty. They have, like, the same creamish pumpkin, but, like, a bigger version for $13. And these like nice baskets you can put everything in. I'm actually getting one of these buckets for Kylo because they're only $2. I wanted to get him like the pumpkin bucket. I don't know if you guys know which one I'm talking about, but those, they don't have any of them. And they're also like $8. So why not just get him this one? Oh, this is pretty too. So even though me and Steph already have Kylo's costume planned out, I just figured I'd take a look because I remember last year, like, the costumes being so expensive at Party City and, um, what's the other store called? Spirit Halloween. They were so expensive. Like, I'm talking, like, $60, sometimes $100 for some of them. So, friendly reminder that if you have kids and babies, or even for yourself, Walmart sells costumes. Literally $22. I saw another one for, like, $16. So... Walmart's the plug, and this is not sponsored by Walmart, Walmart, but I wish it was. Hit me up. Okay, and they actually have so many costumes. Now's the time to get it, because last year I waited last minute, and then there was like no, um, see, $20. Uh, last year I waited last minute, and then I had to like rush Kylo's costume, and there wasn't that many sizes left, so definitely recommend $19, $16. Definitely recommend coming sooner, like end of September, first week of October, to get your costumes. Of course, I found myself in the clothing section. How cute are these? Would you guys believe me if I told you this was actually a bodysuit? And then before I left the house, I literally cut it. I don't know, I'm not feeling bodysuits lately. Okay, so I just left Walmart. I also ended up getting this um, simple micellar lensing water because you guys know I love the Nivea one. I think it's the Nivea Pure and Natural, but I haven't been able to find that anywhere in stores. And then I found it on Amazon for like a crazy price, like 20 something dollars, which I know that's not how much it actually retails for. And then I found it on well.ca for I think $10.99, which is not too bad. But I was like, oh, I kind of hate that I have to like buy it online, which if I had to buy it on Amazon, like that feels so, that feels fine to me, right? Like Amazon is so convenient, but like having to place a well.ca order when i'm not buying anything else i'm just like Ugh. you know so i just decided to check out the my the skincare section at walmart 
and oh my god so many of them have like such crap ingredients like bht fragrance added in them such crap ingredients but i found this one by simple and i actually used to use simple like years ago like seven to ten years ago i'm not even joking um and this one is completely clean clean the ingredients are really good so i'm excited for this because i just i need a um makeup removing i hope this one removes yeah cleanses and removes makeup okay because not all of them are good for removing makeup so i'm excited to try this one and then you guys saw that I got that vocal pumpkin, which mine is actually broken, but I still got it because it was the last one. Um, but how adorable is this? So I'm just going to super glue it right there. And you're not even going to notice because I'll just put it from the front. But even if it didn't put it from the front, you wouldn't even notice. But how cute is this, you guys? Like, do not sleep on Walmart. Oh my God, why did I think this was $5? It literally is $10. I thought it was $5. This is still a really good price though. I'm actually gonna go to the dollar store now and see what they have there. But then I picked this up because I figured this will be really pretty inside of a vase and then I have like other branches that, that I already have at home. I'll show you guys how I decorate after, but it obviously is gonna be super minimal. Like you guys know, I don't like a lot of decorations in general, let alone seasonal decorations. So all in all, I spent $12. Thank you. We love a budget queen. So let's go to the dollar store. Cause I'm just super curious to see what they have. Like the dollar store always comes through. Honestly, you'll be surprised what you can find at the dollar store. So don't sleep on them. And now I have to pull my chair up because I'm 501. <laughs> if you guys are into like the spooky decor for like the front of your home, $3, $3. I'm trying to look for like the cute little minimalistic stuff. Come on, come through for me, dollar store. Okay, I told you guys at Walmart I was looking for the pumpkin bucket. This is obviously different. Dollar store has their own little pumpkin bucket. How cute is this? I think I'm going to get this one for Kylo. I don't know why. Like, I just love the traditional like pumpkin looking ones. So cute. And then apparently it lights up. There's like a thing back there. It literally says light up. So cute. So the dollar store actually has some good little like trick or treats like buckets and bags for the kids. I'm actually so excited because this is gonna be Kylo's first year trick-or-treating. I don't see that much uh, minimal fall decor. Oh, if you need mitts for your babies. They have like super cute little mittens for babies and kids. Like how adorable are these and they're only $2. I might actually get these for Kylo. Well, this says babies, yeah. And I don't know, like, let me know what you guys think, but don't toddlers want to like use their fingers more? So wouldn't I need more of like gloves? Yes, kids. Guys, every year for Halloween, well, I wouldn't say every year because I just started doing it, like dressing sugar up two years ago. So two Halloweens. But I always struggle with like finding him a cute Halloween costume and they're usually so overpriced on Amazon and I always wait till last minute so that sucks alone. But the dollar store has cute um, puppy Halloween costumes. Like I cannot. And these are so affordable. $3, $4, like what? So they don't really have like much like fall home decor, like minimal ones. Oh, there's more here. They also have costumes here too. These are very pretty to like add into baskets and bowls, only $2.50. Okay, these are actually really pretty. $3, $2.50. Guys, this is actually nostalgic. Why did I used to eat this as a kid? First of all, why didn't my parents even let me eat this? Okay, so I picked up that little pumpkin bucket. It's so cute. I just can't wait to see him like trick-or-treating with that. And then I just, um, Sally's was actually in the same plaza. So I was like, let me stop there because um, you guys saw me color my hair. What was it, like a week and a half, two weeks ago? And um, I did love the color, but it was a little bit too warm. Also, I just want a little bit of a darker color. Like I haven't had a nice dark brown in a while, like a darker one. So I want to go a little darker and hopefully that will also kind of ash it out a bit more. So I went to Sally's and I tried to get the Ion inspired by nature, which is ammonia free, but they only have 2A and then 6A. They don't make 3A, 4A or 5A. And I need to mix a five with six. 
So I just went ahead and got the regular Ion color and I actually used this one year. Well, I used the 5AG years ago and they don't make that one anymore. So I just picked this up in the uh, 5A and the 6A and then they have like a buy two get one free. So I just got an extra one, but I'm going to mix these two. And then she told me to add in this, which is like a an unread is what it's called. Eliminates red um, tones. So I'm excited to try this. Also, it was so awkward because while I was at the dollar store, I don't know if you guys saw, but there was like so many. It's like right around lunchtime. Yeah. For the kids at high school and there's like a high school right nearby. So, of course, I hate coming around this time because then you just have a bunch of like high school kids just swarming around. And I always say teenagers are so lawless. Like they're so lawless and unruly. Like they, they, they just, you know, we've all been there. Like we've all been a teenager once in our lives. And you know, it's just the immaturity for me. <laughs> but basically they were all swarming in front of Dollar Store, uh, Dollarama. And then they were like harassing the retail worker, like just causing a scene, like trying to be all like funny, but it really wasn't funny. And it's like, you're just giving the retail, retail worker like a hard time. And man, I just felt so bad because I feel like retail workers get it so hard or so rough. Like they always just get the worst people like and there's like that whole customers always right thing. Yeah, but like there needs to be respect on mutual ends. Like I just felt so bad for the for the uh, worker at Dollarama. He just like was in such like an awkward position because like the kids were just causing such a ruckus. It's just yeah, I, I felt really bad. Okay, so it is Thursday. We're in my guest room because I have some decor back there. I have the decor that I bought in my aesthetic toe. If you don't know, my sister actually makes these totes and it's amazing. I use it as a diaper bag. I use it as like a shopping bag when I go out and run errands. It just fits everything perfectly. Like you can even see the little decor thing that I bought just fits in the side pocket. It has a foam pocket right there. It's honestly even perfect as a diaper bag because it's a diaper bag without looking like a diaper bag. Like. I can have this and it just looks like my little toe. It doesn't look like I'm carrying a diaper bag, you know? But like I said, I also love it for running errands or grocery shopping or anything like that. So it's the bomb. But I came up here because I have some extra decor stuff in this closet right here. This is like my little storage closet right now since we're not using this bedroom. I'm trying to find... Oh, found it. I have these branches that I got off of Amazon like last year and it came in a really big pack. These are perfect for fall, I feel like, because it's like a super deep dark brown and there's obviously no leaves on it. So it just gives that little like fall vibe. I think this will look perfect in a vase and uh, maybe the other thing that I bought like put into it. So I'm gonna take these out and we're gonna use those. Also, how pretty is this vase that I have? Um, my sister got it from HomeSense and then she like hand painted and put like plaster on it. It's so, so, so pretty. But I also have another vase downstairs. So I don't know if I wanna use this one or the one that I already have downstairs. Also guys, I colored my hair yesterday. I actually filmed it on my main channel because I did my self care routine. I told you guys last time that I liked the color that I did, but I wanted it to be darker and a little like less warm. So I ended up doing the Ion 5A and 6A mixed together and I love how it turned out. I actually still would have wanted it to be a little darker to be honest with you. I kind of miss like this very, not black, but I kind of miss like the really dark brown I used to have, kind of like that level three, four-ish. Um, but with the Ion colors, they always go darker. So that's why I, I don't do a four in Ion. I've made that mistake before it'll literally turn black. So I kind of feel like I could have just used the 5A and gotten like a little darker, but I do overall love it. Let me know what you guys think. I think it just looks really pretty like darker. I don't know. I feel like myself when my hair is just darker and I also love that it's not so orange. Like that other color, I just needed, I needed, I knew that I needed to go a little darker because usually if you want to get the warmth out of your hair, you usually have to go a little bit darker. Um, so I knew that I would have to do that to get that orange tone out and it actually worked.
but I actually think I want to take the pumpkin off just to make it more minimal, but also by taking the pumpkin off, okay. <laughs> By taking the pumpkin off, it actually makes it a lot more like appropriate for Christmas as well. So it kind of will go for both fall and Christmas, which, which I like because I usually put my Christmas tree here. So then I won't have to change this for Christmas. Oh my God, I love that so much more. Like it's just much more minimal. cute are my little beige slippers i have been wearing clay for the fall because it's just you know the brown it looks so good with my track pants too the brown just gets me in the fall mood i'll leave a link to uh those down below by the way for those of you who don't know beige is my loungewear brand and we make the coziest little slippers i actually got hair dye on my white ones are my cream ones. So I went into my uh, closet in my studio and I, I luckily have the full collection obviously. So I grabbed a new pair of clay and that's what I'm gonna be wearing in the fall. So I have been vacuum sealing Kylo's summer clothes because obviously he doesn't need them anymore. It is getting very chilly here in the GTA, but I will say we've had some warm days, but like warm where he can still wear like his long, like the new long sleeve stuff. I showed you guys when I did the baby H&M haul in the last vlog. So I did this one the other day, but I was waiting to do this one because he was still wearing one of these outfits. This is actually great for fall still, but it's too small in him now. Like look, so teeny tiny. This is in the size, um, Oh, this is 12 to, oh yeah, 12 to 18 months. Yeah, he's really needing 12 to, uh, I mean, he's needing 18 to 24 now. So these are short on him. So I'm basically putting away all of the 12 to 18 month stuff. I've been doing this since he was born. Every like six-ish months, I will do this because I'm saving all of these clothes for the next baby. A lot of his clothes are gender neutral. So like a lot of them are very neutral shades. They can go for boy or girl. These are actually such good bags. I got them off of Amazon and they come with like a variety of sizes. And then there you go. This is so worth it. I actually have bins in the basement. Like I have a good 10 of them where I store Kylo's toys and his clothes. So these will just go in the bins now and the bins are labeled by size. I have a newborn bin, which is just like all of your essentials that you need um, when your baby is a newborn. So like the shusher, the swaddles, just that type of stuff. And then I have a zero to six months bin, six to 12 months bin, and now a 12 to 18 months bin toys bin, books bin, everything is organized. And although in the moment you might be lazy to do it, for a long time I was so lazy and I was like, oh, I don't wanna do it. And it just like stayed in that other room over there. But it is so worth it. Cause trust me, when you have another baby, you're gonna need to go look for everything. And if it's not organized, it's actually gonna be more work for you later on. You know what I mean? So that's what motivates me. But I also have this label maker where, like I said, I labeled the bins, but I'm actually running out of bins. So I need to go buy a 12 to 18 month bin, but for now I'm going to label the bag. I actually have this little label maker and it's really cool. It just connects straight to your phone. I just remembered that this bag has six to 12 and then these jeans are 12 to 18. My label maker literally just ran out of ink. So I'm at a look. <laughs> I actually wanted to give you guys an update because I had an appointment with my naturopath doctor yesterday, which I've told you guys that I see a naturopath um, just because that's who really helps me with my thyroid because apparently doctors don't give a shit unless your thyroid is extremely bad and you're dying. The only doctor that cared about my thyroid was a naturopath. Basically, what I heard from my family doctor is that like the Canadian like OHIP oh, oh, system, like they only will treat you. She said, I put it in the words where they only care, but the way that they worded it was, we only treat patients with the thyroid over, or TSH over 10, which is really bad. Like a TSH of 10 is bad. Like 
and that's for hypothyroidism by the way but anyways that is bad like you can't even function at that point so i'm just like wow we like y'all really wait until people are dying to care okay cool with my naturopath um anything over two and a half is not good so like your i think your optimum um levels are like your ideal levels i think it's 0.3 to 2.5 i could be wrong but i'll leave it on the screen here but i know anything over 2.5 is is not that good it's not ideal um between 2.5 and 4.5 is like this gray area most people just don't feel good but they kind of like let it slide postpartum mine was basically like four and a half and i was feeling exhausted like falling asleep literally could barely keep my eyes open and um anyways i got on medication and i felt a lot better but i still have days when i feel like a little bit tired so um i spoke with my doctor yesterday and i had my blood work done and my levels are pretty good like they're pretty good surprisingly but um she was saying that it could be to do with my deficit which makes a lot of sense because i am in definite need of a refeed so i've been on a weight loss journey for like since kylo was two months old and he's like almost 17 months now so i don't know y'all do the math that's like what 14, 15 months I've been in a calorie deficit and I did take um, a break around April, but you're honestly supposed to take a break every like three months-ish, especially like women for our hormones. It's really not good to be in a deficit for too long. Um, and I know that, but I've just been feeling good, honestly, like mentally. I always say when you start to feel yourself mentally checking out of your calorie deficit, like when you're starting to know your, notice yourself wanting to eat a little bit more or not feeling as motivated, that's a good indicator that, hey, you need a reset to so do a refeed and do like a maintenance week where you take a break for a week and then you go back on but i haven't felt like that like literally for 15 months straight i've been so motivated feeling so good and i truly think that that's because i'm not restrictive i've been having one cheat meal every single week on my calorie deficit i don't skip a cheat meal it's not restrictive so by doing that it makes me really stick to my calorie deficit so i've felt good the last 15 ish months um but i am starting to get to the point where i'm noticing myself like just my body wanting more calories and also mentally me i can feel myself checking out a little bit and losing a little bit of motivation so that's just my sign right there that i am really in need of like a refeed and i actually have been feeling better the past few days i've been eating maintenance calories and taking a break and i decided since uh canadian thanksgiving is coming up which i'm gonna be vlogging thanksgiving this year so that's gonna be really fun i'll vlog like me cooking for it and then a little bit with the fam so stay tuned for a thanksgiving vlog but um yeah since thanks canadian thanksgiving is coming up i'm like you know what's perfect time let me just do a two-week break right around that time and um then i'll get right back on my deficit after thanksgiving until christmas do another break around christmas and then right back at it in january so it's kind of good timing but yeah the past few days i have been um increasing my calories and just doing maintenance and i actually have noticed a difference already i just feel really good i think my body needed it and my hormones as well so yeah that's just a little update on my weight loss journey keep in mind if you guys are on a calorie deficit as well and you're also going to go on maintenance and do like a refeed week just keep in mind that um you're going to like the scale is going to go up a little bit and that's mostly just due to the water weight it's just that increase of calories your scale will go up a little bit for example my last lowest weight was 142 and that was last week on friday today is thursday and i'm now the scale this morning said 145 so three pounds up but that doesn't mean that i've gained three pounds like i haven't actually gained three pounds of fat you can't gain three pounds of fat in six days unless you literally so you need to consume 3500 calories to gain in a surplus i should say in a surplus that means above your maintenance calories to gain one pound of fat and i obviously haven't done that like you would need to eat an insane amount of food for six days to actually gain three pounds of fat so i just wanted to encourage you guys that if you are going to do that just know the scale is going to go up a little bit but it is water weight your body is storing those extra calories um as energy just in the meantime and then it will drop like in a few days it's going to go right back down so just don't be alarmed if you are on a weight loss journey and you're doing maintenance it is totally normal for the scale to go up a little bit but it is temporary so that's a good thing so later in the day my sister came over and she was hanging out with kylo and i realized i had a bunch of super ripe bananas so i figured let's make some banana bread and i looked up a recipe online because i've made banana bread in the past and i always failed like i felt like it was always the wrong ratio it was a little too mushy but this time it turned out perfectly so i will link the recipe down below it was very easy and it just turned out so good so it basically was three bananas some sugar some flour vanilla extract baking soda melted butter very very easy and bomb in the curtain. 
Banana bread. I actually just realized that I was supposed to mix the wet ingredients first and then put in the flour and I didn't. <laughs> had to show you guys I always get told that like my house is so clean how is my house always so clean it's not always so clean guys like I won't lie I am constantly like picking things up and putting things back in their place so that it doesn't get too much like this but things happen and today is just one of those days where I haven't been able to like pick things up and put things away because I've just been really busy so and sink full of dishes haven't been able you guys know my routine every morning is to empty the dishwasher so that throughout the day it's empty and then i won't have a sink full of dishes right but things just happen like i just did not stick to my usual morning routine today just was super busy i actually think i might take advantage of the fact that kylo is outside playing with steph and clean up this kitchen i think that's what i'm gonna do first and then i'll go outside and join the fun So I didn't get to vlog this part, but I actually made some vanilla bean scones from this mix that I bought at a local bakery. I love the ingredients in this. So, so clean and simple. And these scones turned out really good. Maybe I'll vlog them for you guys in the future, but I ended up making some strawberry cream cheese topping or filling to go with it. And it turned out so good. I basically just mixed cream cheese with a little bit of sugar, some vanilla extract, and some strawberry jam that I had since I didn't have any actual strawberries on hand. And this was just like the perfect addition to these scones. the banana bread turned out i cannot wait to try it i'm actually fun fact not a huge fan of banana bread so i love chocolate chip banana bread i just made it like regular this time so good good morning guys my hair looks a little bit of a mess but i totally forgot that i was vlogging and i just went on instagram short stories to share his breakfast and i was like i should share it in the vlog so Kylo's eating, ooh, almost dropped it. Kylo's eating the banana bread for breakfast. Honestly, the banana bread turned out so good. I'm not even crazy big on banana bread like I mentioned to you guys, and I've been loving it, like obsessed. 
but I did mention that I love, you know, I love a little chocolate in my dessert. So last night I had the banana bread for my dessert, but I added chocolate and I like pushed it into it. Like I'm so desperate. Like, Am I really that desperate for chocolate? Yes. But anyways, so for breakfast, I thought, you know what? I'm gonna give Kylo some of the banana bread because I really don't want it. Like I want it to get used up before it goes bad. It's gonna be good on the counter for like two, three days. It'll definitely stay fresh longer in the fridge. So I put a couple slices in the fridge, but I obviously, I love it room temp, you know? So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna give some to Kylo, but I didn't want him to only have like, like this is, not a lot of sugar, but it's quite a bit of sugar, like a decent amount. And I didn't want him to only have that for breakfast, you know? So especially first thing in the morning, I really didn't want to like spike his glucose first thing in the morning. So I paired it with a healthy fat because if you are going to give sugar first thing in the morning, it's really good to pair it with a healthy fat to help that spike. So I spread some peanut butter on top and I sprinkled some chia seeds and he's loving it. He has been teething like crazy. Like I'm talking, he's getting, so like when I told you guys he was teething before, he was getting so so many of his bottom teeth in and now he's getting a bunch of top teeth like I'm talking four at the same time like it's he in the last three to four weeks so in the last like month alone he's gotten like over four to six no more like eight teeth like at this point he has about like 16 to 18 teeth it's insane so he's been using the pacifier a lot because of the teething it really helps with his teething because otherwise he's literally just like whining and fussing all day and I did give him Tylenol and it helped a lot but he still just was like whining and fussing but let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I just, I have this thing inside of me where I'm just a little bit, so Kylo's never been addicted to his pacifier. I told you guys that. He's always loved his pacifier, but he's never been addicted. Like I could take it away and it was, he didn't care, right? But he's kind of starting to get to that age now. He's uh, almost 17 months and he's, he knows where I keep it on the counter back there in that basket. And he'll go up to it and like kind of beg for it. But he is teething really bad. So I'm like, okay, is, he's probably just doing it because he's teething. Or is he doing it because he's getting studies where he's like a little bit addicted? You know, so I, I can't tell. Yes, I'm talking about you, sir. I need my friend's opinion. I honestly really do think it's because he's teething because that's not, at one point yesterday, he actually wasn't really teething that bad anymore because he wasn't fussy and I took the pacifier away and he didn't care. But yeah, he's been asking for it a lot. Like in the past, he never would ask for his pacifier. Um, but now he's been like asking for it. So I'm kind of just like wondering, is that, is he starting to create this like habit and like addiction to it? Or is it just because he's teething? So I'm like in that stage right now where I'm like, do I just take the pacifier away like for good now? Like completely get rid of them now that he's younger before he develops too much of an attachment or leave it because he's teething and it really does help him. And when I take, like when I don't give him the pacifier, he's literally drooling. Let me know what your guys' opinion is down below. Do you think it's because he's teething that he's so like attached to it right now or is it because he's getting older and he's developing an attachment to it i really want your guys's opinion because i've been like battling in my own head about it you know we haven't even gone on our morning walk yet i've just been okay my love i've just been drinking my matcha and he's been having some banana bread no more and his appetite has been so affected by um the teething like he has not been eating like literally the past week he has survived on raisins the occasional pancake yogurt and these are small amounts at a time <laughs> i actually want to film what my toddler eats in a day so show you guys what he eats for breakfast lunch dinner snacks and just give you guys really easy good toddler recipes that also work for babies and baby led weaning so i want to do that video but i haven't been able to do it because i'm like i don't want to do that video on a day when I clearly know he doesn't have an appetite right now. I'm gonna like cook all this good food for him, which he normally loves and eats, but he's not gonna eat it. So the food's gonna go to waste. So it's like, I don't want to be wasteful. Like I'm just gonna wait until he's done teething because he's mad fussy and has no appetite these days. I think we should go on our walk, Kylo. It's only 8.15. I think we should go on our walk. He knows what that means, so he starts walking. He is too smart, I'm telling you guys. 